Okay, this one's quite a straightforward one, as long as you know the structure of hundreds, tens of units, and then after a decimal point, you've got a tenths column. And I've got seven tenths, so I've got a seven in that column. So I know that that is 0 0.7. So while I'm at it, I can deal with this one. 0 0.2, that two is in the tenths column. So I have got two tenths. However, that can be simplified because they both belong to the two times table. Divide by two, one. Divide by two, five. So 0 0.2 is the same as one fifth. Back to the first one though. In order to get this as a percentage, if that was written out of 100, I'll know straight away what the percentage is because percent means out of 100. Well, I can get that to be out of 100 because all I have to do is times that by 10. But if I times that by 10, I've got to times the top by 10, which gives me 70. So that first one is 70%. Well, that means I can do this one back to a fraction because if that says 30%, then that means I've got 30 out of 100. Now, just like this one, that can cancel that because they're both in your 10 times table. 10 goes into that three times and 10 goes into 100 10 times. So that's three over 10. Now, because that's over 10, I can once again say that I have got 0.3 because that three tenths means I've got three in the tenths column. I could go from this one, but I'm going to go from this one to get the percentage. If you know the decimal, then if you times by 100, you will get the percentage. So if I times by 100, I move the decimal point once and twice. Now, because I'm moving it a second time, there's nothing there, so I need to put nothing there. So once, twice, you can see that the percentage is 20%. Another one. This is an awkward one because it's not out of 10. However, I can make that one out of 100 because I can times that by four. Four 25s makes 100. Now if I times 11 by four, that gets me 44 over 100. <clears throat> so again, you need to know that after the tenths column, we have the hundredths column. So what we have here is we have no point four four. Because it's over 100, I already know the percentage is 44, 44%. But as I said in the previous, it times that by 100, one, two places over, 44. Second one, 82% means I've got 82 over 100. I can see that they both belong to the two times table because they end in even numbers. So if I half that number, I get 41. If I half that number, I get 50. I can't cancel that down any further, so there's the answer to that one. And if I times by 100 to get the percentage, then I could divide by 100 to get the decimal. So the decimal there would be 0 0.82, though I could have seen that from there anyway. So likewise, to get from there to the percentage, I times by 100, so I've got 24%. From either one of these, I can see that I've got over 100, 24. Why? Because that goes into the hundredths column, goes into the hundredths column, so 24 hundredths. But 24% means 24 out of 100. So 24 over 100. Again, a number of ways you can do this, but let's go with the same as I did there. I can half that and get 12. I can half that and get 50. However, I can do it again. Half that, I get 6. Half that, I get 25. So 6 over 25. I could have done it straight away by dividing by 4. 4 goes into that 6 times and 4 goes into 125 times. 